According to Jewish tradition, whoever saves one life, it is as if he saved the whole world. In the course of my writing about the Holocaust, I was enormously struck by the numbers of Christians who risk their own lives and indeed the lives of their families to try to save Jews. The penalty for hiding a Jew was death in many, many countries. And yet those who are themselves captive peoples Poles, German anti-Nazis, Czechs, Yugoslavs, Frenchmen, Danes, Belgians, Dutch, all found the strength within their communities, often to go against the prevailing anti-Semitism and certainly to go against the enormous pressure of the German occupier to hide Jews, to save Jews and to ensure some human decency would survive amid the cataclysm of the Holocaust. I found it very inspiring to write this book. I was astonished by the number of people in every country who risked their lives to save Jews. In Jerusalem, Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum and Memorial, has honored 21,000 Christians who risked their lives to save Jews. And in this book, country by country, I've tried to tell their story, the story of those who risked their lives, people who sought no reward, people who after the war made no song and dance about what they'd done, sought no recognition, didn't want to be patted on the back and praised, and yet in their modest, humble, decent ways, behaved in a Christian manner, in a human manner, and so saved tens of thousands of lives at a time when life was cheap and saving life was dangerous.